Hey guys, this is Amadeo78, and today I just wanted to talk to you about something that happens because comics. Cable and Apocalypse are two characters whose fates have become intertwined over the years. Apocalypse was originally in Sabanor in ancient Egypt. Due to his mutant abilities and the use of celestial technology, he became the fearsome villain known as Apocalypse. As an enemy of X-Factor, he once infected Nathan Summers with the techno-organic virus. Nathan was then sent to the future in order to be saved, and he eventually became the mutant superhero known as Cable. Raised in an age of apocalypse, not THE age of apocalypse, Cable fought a war against Apocalypse and his Canaanites. After seemingly destroying Apocalypse, he had to contend with Strife who had taken leadership of the Canaanites. After losing the war, Cable thought, man this sucks, and decided to go back into the past to kill Apocalypse before he could create this future. In the past, Cable meets in Salvador, defeats him, and accidentally infects him with the techno-organic virus. With the techno-organic virus in the system, Apocalypse is able to interact with and gain control over the celestial ship. He used the ship to heal himself and make himself even more powerful than he was before. With the aid of the ship, he's able to regenerate himself over centuries, and he also gains control of the techno-organic virus, which he later uses to create Archangel and to infect Nathan Summers, who later becomes Cable. Then Cable goes back and infects Insabanoa, who becomes Apocalypse, who later infects Cable, and round and round we go. Good job, Cable. And the only reason why any of this makes sense is because comics. Thanks for watching. This is Amadeo78 from Broken Continuity. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.